are in town. Makes sense. I mean, we had buildings blown up, bridges wrecked, the assassins killed a bunch of people, and GCPD didn't exactly rise to the occasion. And then there's the bat. Yeah, and then there's the bat. I wonder if the feds are gonna go after him. According to the police report, the victim died from a single gunshot wound to the chest. But who killed him, and why? Examining the body should provide a lead. Owen Grant. He's an investigative journalist. Did an interview with him last year. Must have been chasing a big story to be out here. Now there's a camera strap around his neck. But where's the rest of it? This trail indicates the victim tried to escape before succumbing to his wounds. Spatter analysis indicates the shot came from below. Grant must have dropped the camera when he was hit. Reviewing the reconstruction will help me find it, assuming the shooter didn't get there first. Alfred. What's that? I'm sending you some data taken from a camera. See if you can ID the subject in the shots. Certainly, sir. Just give me a moment. Uh, here we are. Mm. Uh, one Chucky Burks. I'm sending you his last known location. I need any unassigned unit for special assignment. Stand by. Your brother's a guard at Blackgate, ain't he? Ain't he? Yes. Yes. Why? He made my life a living hell for ten years! What's that got to do with me? Oh, you're just a warm-up. I'm gonna finish you, then I'll find your worthless brother! Oh, no! Bruce, you've returned. 
Looking for your bat friend? It's just uh, I can find no precedent for this king bat, as I've taken to calling it. The Philippines are home to some of the largest bats in the world. And how, pray tell, did one of them wind up here? That's a mystery I'll have to solve another day. Well, this is turning out to be quite the Christmas Eve, isn't it? you're talking about sure you don't either way it looks like if i go down you go down give me a minute i need to think about this Justice, you killed a man. Why? He was gonna expose our counterfeiting. I didn't have a choice. You always have a choice. <clears throat> Alfred, let GCPD know that Chucky e. Burks has been apprehended for the murder of Owen Grant. Send them my current location along with the case file details. That one, sir. Dispatch, 4-9. 4-9, go ahead. So the fire's almost out, but it looks like we've got a body here. Cause of death currently unknown. Gonna need a forensics team to take a look. Copy that. We'll get someone to you. Keep the site secured until they arrive. Damage is going to make evidence collection difficult. I should start by identifying the victim. Dental records indicate his name is Alex Kane. He's a small-time arms dealer that frequently works with the Penguin. Cause of death was a gunshot wound to the heart. The fire must have been set in an attempt to cover the killer's tracks. DNA evidence indicates the killer fired from close range. This suggests the two men knew each other. Maybe it was a deal that went bad.
Interesting. The fire was actually started by the victim. Chemical residue points to an incendiary grenade. Guess an arms dealer always comes prepared. The spread pattern means the killer would have been trapped here, though. But there's no second body. He must have found a way out. The killer made his way up the wall in an attempt to avoid being overcome. I should follow his route and see where it takes me. that ladder. I should review the crime scene to see how he made his escape. These prints belong to King Lu, one of Penguin's top hitmen. Chances are I'll find him at the docks. I wonder what Kane did to deserve this. My board is lit up. If you don't have an assignment, please report in. Brothers are guarded black uh -huh. showed up. That's a crazy fight. We can take uh -huh.
Did Penguin order you to kill Alex Kane? <laughs> I don't think so. If anything, Cobblepot's gonna have me killed for doing it. Then why? I was sick of playing heavy. I figured if Kane, you know, disappeared, I might be able to move up in the world. You're not moving anywhere now. Alfred, let the GCPD know where they can find Kane's killer. You can forward them all the evidence, too. It's already done, sir. Dispatch, this is Officer Meyer. We got a hit and run just outside the precinct. Looks like it might be one of our own. Your request has been logged. All available homicide units are out on call. First one back is yours. anything, sir. Bane has an unhealthy obsession with you. Was he that desperate for the bounty? It's not about the money. Then what? What could you possibly have done to him to deserve this? I don't know, but I'm going to find out.
Enigma, where are you? I'm right here. Well, figuratively speaking, anyway. Disappointed I didn't choose to meet up in person? What's this about? Sionis hire you to throw me off his trail? Think of me as an information broker. I've got data handlers everywhere, feeding me all kinds of interesting stuff. And you think this is going to destroy Gotham? Oh, yes. See, bullet wounds and broken bones will eventually heal. But incriminating photos, videos, emails, that kind of damage can never be repaired. Tomorrow morning, when I release everything I've got, the city's going to collapse. Resignations, arrests, deaths. It'll be chaos in the streets, Batman. And there's not a thing you can do to stop me. and get all caveman on my equipment. It's password protected, I'm afraid, with 10,000 volts of electricity. You've lost Batman. Might as well head home and get some rest. With everyone's deepest, darkest secrets about to go on public display, I've got a feeling tomorrow's going to be a very busy day for you. One way or another, I'm shutting you down. Destroying all the network relays will let me access his server. It's the only way to stop him. Those must be the handlers he was talking about. I can use them to track down the extortion data he's been collecting. Just outside GCPD, this was no accident. Victim is Nate Ramo, a member of the SWAT division. His whole team is currently under investigation by Internal Affairs. I wonder what he was doing here. Looks like he was thrown a considerable distance by the vehicle. I can use the spatter distribution to determine the point of initial impact. This is where Ramo was killed. DNA evidence indicates the car was traveling at a high rate of speed, but the angle of spatter shows the driver lost control and the car was weaving. I should review the crime scene, see if anything else was hit. Analysis indicates a specific brand of paint that narrows down the make and model of the car. And cross-referencing these specs with a list of his team members returns a single name. John DeMarco. Time to pay him a visit. Nothing. This 
time next week, we'll all be back at work. What if he's got tapes or something? Some kind of written confession? This is bad. I searched this place after I took him out. It was clean. He could have stashed off somewhere. And if he did? It's not like he can tell anyone where it is. We just gotta keep our heads down and our mouths shut. I hope you're right. I know I'm right. Form up! Why did you do it, DeMarco? Why did you kill Ramo? I indeed didn't have enough to make the charges stick. But the kid got scared, made a deal, and decided to talk. <laughs> Traitor. You'd have been out of jail in a few years on the drug charges. But now, murder means life. We'll see about that. With all the evidence I've collected, it won't take long for the jury to convict. Funny thing about evidence, it has a tendency to disappear. Not on my watch. <clears throat> Alfred, let GCPD know that Ramo's murderer has been captured. I'm also sending you a taped confession. We'll bring down the rest of the team with him. Dispatch, do you copy? Go ahead. Got a body down here. Mid-30s, no ID, no witnesses. Injuries are consistent with repeated blunt force trauma. Requesting a homicide team on site. Copy that. We'll send you our first available. Something you wish to discuss, sir? Anything to report? Nothing you don't already know, sir. Seems to me that Captain Gordon is the one good apple in a bad bunch.
police claim they have no leads, there has to be something here. What didn't they see? These bruising patterns are inconsistent with the police report of multiple strikes. The victim suffered one massive blow that shattered multiple bones. These spatter patterns confirm this man was killed by a single large object traveling at high velocity. Reconstructing the event should reveal the murder weapon. The prince belonged to Andrew Carter. He has a pretty lengthy record, but nothing that indicates this level of violence. Notes indicate he's been suffering paranoid delusions. Guess he finally lost control. Alfred, I need a last known location for a perp named Andrew Carter. According to the GCPD database, he was released from Blackgate just over a month ago. I'm sending you what I have. Oh, hold on. Mm. There's a notation here indicating he stopped attending court-mandated therapy sessions recently and is believed to be quite unstable. Do be careful. I always am. Shadow from his dreams, the one who must be broken. I was told you might come. You killed a man tonight. Why? He saw he would speak. We could not allow it. What did he see? What's Bane planning? I will say no more. Then we're done talking. <laughs> Alfred, let the GCPD know that Andrew Carter's been apprehended in connection with the amusement mile murder. They can pick him up at my location. Well done, sir. That's one less troublemaker for Gotham to worry about. Dispatch, this is Officer Franklin. Go ahead and let Homicide know that the Park Row crime scene has been secured. Oh, and tell him to bring a second meat wagon. We got two DBs down here. Ah, there you are. I was beginning to worry. 
What's wrong, Alfred? You look upset. Because I am upset. I'd set out a roast chicken for you, but that damn bat took it. The, the whole thing. It returned later to deposit the bones, the nerve of that creature. Strange. Meat's not meant to be part of their diet. Oh, wonderful. So now we're playing host to a carnivorous megabat for which there exists no zoological record. Maybe you've discovered a new species? This is no laughing matter. Uh, if you say so. Two victims, both shot dead. I know them. This is Horace Riley, heir to the Riley Mining Empire. Odd. He still has his wallet and watch. Clarissa Rodriguez. Riley proposed to her just weeks ago. Socialite and activist. Even though it's worth a fortune, her necklace wasn't taken. This wasn't a robbery. The reconstruction indicates Horace's lung was punctured. He drowned in his own blood. Clarissa took a single shot to the heart. Death was instantaneous. Both shots were from an automatic. Finding the casings will let me identify the killer. Looks like he tried to clean up after himself, but one of the casings fell through this grate. I can check it for prints. Location on Ian Chase. Isn't that the fellow from your Halloween party? As I recall, you had to throw him out. Is he troubling Miss Rodriguez again? She's dead. Horace, too. Oh, dear. Oh, I suppose we should have seen this coming. The location, Alfred. Sent, sir. And my condolences as well.
on TV. You don't get to live happily ever after with the woman you love. Instead, she leaves you for your best friend. Sorry, man. You need me to bring it all back. It's fine. It's fine. Just give me a minute. I know exactly who you are. You didn't do it for money. You didn't even do it for love. You're choking me. I can't breathe. Not out of jealousy. Not out of anger. You did it because you're a small, selfish, malicious. Sir, is everything all right? Your vital signs are rather erratic. What, what the hell's wrong with you? Alfred. Let the GCPD know that Ian Chase has been apprehended. I'm also sending you the evidence I collected. Certainly, sir. And might I recommend you be on your way? No need to spend any more time there, hmm? Hello? Batman? Do you copy? Gordon. Sorry to, uh, interrupt. Barbara gave me this frequency. I, uh, well... I thought you might be able to help me with something. Is there a problem? That depends. If we can contain this in time, it should be okay. Contain what? We've got some Blackgate escapees stirring up trouble in the city. And after tonight's events, I'm a little short-staffed at the moment. So you want me to bring them in? Well, that's what you do, right? I'll see what I can do. Joker. He attacked Blackgate. In the chaos, I... Yes! Keep fighting! Kill him! Attack me! We got you surrounded! What is this stuff? I can't no more! I ain't going back! You can't make me! Yes, I can. Gordon, send someone to pick this scumbag up.
again? I'm afraid you'll find I've stepped things up considerably. Which means I think our time together is drawing to a close. It's been fun, Batman. But all good things must come to an end. Careful now! That's public property you're destroying. Crawling around in vents like a common rat. How expected. We need a plan. We'll end up like the I think you've made the right decision. Recognizing when you've been beaten is the first step on the road to self-improvement. Steering that thing requires a whole lot of concentration. need to stop this. Stop what? Cleaning up the streets? Ensuring the GCPD actually does its job? Removing corruption from the system? Was it one of those in particular you took issue with, or all of them? You're using the data you've stolen to blackmail people. So? It gets the job done. It's certainly kinder than the beatings you're so fond of doling out. Think on that.
Stop! Enigma's extortion data. Where is it? If I tell you, you'll let me go? Talk. Okay. They're close by. I'll show you where. <clears throat> Things, stuff like help me, you know, on fire and all. 